Libs throw a fit when Gunmaker refuses to apologize for anti Antifa ad who doesn't love Antifa. After all, these winsome rapscallions have been responsible for merry pranks such as hitting people in the face with bike locks and pepper spraying innocent civilians, all because the miscreants had the unspeakable temerity to support Donald Trump. Well, for whatever reason, the folks at Spikes Tactical, a Florida gunmaker, aren't too keen on everyone's favorite bourgeois terrorists. That's why they put out an ad that's now become controversial showing armed individuals forming a kind of blockade against the black bandana thugs. Not today, Antifa, not today, read the Facebook ad, which was posted on January 8 in conjunction with Texas-based clothing company Pipe Hitters Union promoting an upcoming show in Las Vegas. The ad mentioned Berkeley, Portland, Charlottesville, and Boston. Four protests at which Antifa affiliated individuals have gotten violent. It didn't take long for the gunmaker to get a predictable backlash with people who apparently don't have a problem with Antifa's violence, but have an issue with people carrying, assumedly, legally to deter the mob from engaging in said violence. Many also accused the gun company of putting themselves on the side of white supremacists. Spikes you are making a huge mistake with this post user Chris Whitehall said on on Facebook, according to Vice. Which side would you have taken during the Tiki March? Spikes tactical? I'd love to know. Where do you stand with that? With Nazis? Come right out with it y'all. Yes, because apparently anyone who stands against Antifa automatically stands with neo-Nazis and the Tiki Torch crowd in Charlottesville. Apparently, nobody involved in the criticism is familiar with the fallacy of the false dilemma. In a statement to Vice, both Spikes Tactical and Pipe Hitters Union were unapologetic about the meaning behind the ads. We are not advocating violence, the joint statement read. If you pay attention to the ad, you see two groups of people. No matter what type of description you give to the two groups, there is clearly one group of unlawful attackers, and there is another group of lawful defenders. We offer zero apologies to anyone that is offended by this advertisement that depicts armed, but peaceful, patriotic Americans standing up against socialist, anarchist, and communist rioters. The statement continued. We apologize to no one. If we were to make an apology that would suggest that we have done something wrong or regret our actions, which is not the case. Even so, Vice, Newsweek, and other outlets had a conniption over the advertisement. For them, Spike's tactical had quite the rejoinder. The post included a number of hashtags, including one saying number F white supremacy. While one can question the confrontational nature of the advertisement, that's actually kind of the point behind it. The reason why Antifa gets away with violence is that law enforcement refuses to actually confront them properly. If these extremist thugs were dealt with properly, we wouldn't even have this issue. And yet, not only are people unwilling to confront these hooligans, they accuse anyone who is willing to do so of being a white supremacist. One does not have to be an alt-right hoodlum or a ticky torch-wielding bigot to realize that Antifa unchecked poses a dire threat to political discourse and freedom of speech in this country. Perhaps the aggressive stance in the advertisement isn't the way to deal with the problem. But that's just what it was, an advertisement. The only people who should be apologizing are the thugs and Antifa, the leftists who enable them and the media who'd have been thus far willing to give them ideological cover.